Never Have I Ever is back for its third season on Netflix, so let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name's Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services just like Netflix. If you guys are like me, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. In season three of the coming of age comedy, Never Have I Ever, Indian American teenager Davey continues to deal with the everyday pressure of high school and drama at home while also navigating new romantic relationships. So the first two seasons of Never Have I Ever were some of my favorite shows on Netflix of the years that they were released. This is by far one of my favorite shows I have seen on Netflix in a long time. And season three, once again, is a great season. Season. This just shows me how the writing is so good and so relatable and just so enjoyable. See, when you look at this show just by the synopsis and looking at set photos or just by the trailer, you can kind of get the idea that this might be your average uh, coming of age comedy. Not a lot of depth given to it, just feeling incredibly average. And that's how I initially felt when going into that first season is that it just looked average to me. So, but the first, second, and now the third season adds a lot of depth to these characters and relationships that are forming. In the third season, Davey is juggling relationships with Paxton. And now that she's like this, now that her and Paxton are officially a couple, She's dealing with high school in her junior year and Paxton being a senior, but also looking at why is Paxton dating me? Because he is considered to be the hot guy and really popular and he's dated a lot of people in the past and Davey is not popular and people make fun of her and question why is she with Paxson so she is struggling to understand her relationship with Paxson and it's putting a strain on the relationship but this third season in all 10 episodes I feel like we get to know all of the characters better than ever from Paxson to Trent to Davey to Fabiola so many characters in here that you just get another layer added to them. And what are they feeling? What are they afraid of outside of high school and relationships that they are forming? They do so much in here to add depth to a lot of the minor characters to where you feel incredibly connected with them. A lot of time is given to Trent, who is by far one of the funniest characters within the show, but his relationship with Paxton is challenged quite often, and we see a, another level to him that honestly I didn't expect we would see. And understanding where he's coming from and his feelings within the third season just makes you rethink the whole character. And they do that so many times within the season with characters that were introduced in the second season. Whoever it is, these are characters that you are starting to just appreciate a lot more by them showing their feelings or forming different relationships. Whatever they are doing, whatever they are handling, depth given to them is very strong. And a lot of the performances in here do sell these dramatic sequences. There was, the first season had a really strong emotional scene at the end of it that made me cry. But, and there's several times within here that made me feel emotional because of how well the acting is when they are discussing their past, especially Davy and her father who had passed and how certain emotions are being brought up once again. If relationships are falling apart or forming, there's a lot of great performances in here. The third season continues to be funny once again. There's a lot of relatable moments of high school and relationships. There's a lot of scenes in here that I did find myself laughing out loud. And John McEnroe Rose's narration once again is very solid and I feel like he just gives it a unique touch to it and Andy Samberg once again returns narrating an episode and he has a lot of fun with it. 
And adding John McEnroe and even an episode with Andy Samberg just shows how creative and unique this show is. When you look at the synopsis and that coming of age story, it feels like it could be just incredibly average. But by having that narration and all the great writing in here, it stands out as one of the best coming of age shows I have seen on Netflix. I'm very curious about its fourth season and how this third season did end. It's a it's a roller coaster of a season, especially for Davy, as a lot of relationships are going up and a lot of relationships are forming or falling apart for Davy and really everybody within here. It's just kind of a roller coaster of a season, but that makes it feel realistic. Like high school and relationships don't last, and relationships seem fun and exciting, but they aren't meant to be. The way that they handle certain relationships feels important and exciting, but it's not meant to be. I really did enjoy the third season, and uh, certain storylines feel like they're coming to an end, especially those seniors, as they are going to different states for college. But I feel like I got to know a lot of these characters even more. And seeing how they're feeling about high school and relationships, it feels very relatable while also being funny. They have that nice uh, family touch to it. The family bond between Davy and her mother is even stronger in this third season. Watching Davy navigate high school and relationships is something I was excited to see in this third season and it paid off. It's by far, once again, my favorite thing on Netflix this year. I'm so excited for its fourth season and I'm happy that I gave this show a chance. Like I said, watching that first season I was afraid that it's just gonna be your average coming of age comedy that would be canceled after its first season but it's going very strong now and I still absolutely love it so before I give you my score for the third season of never have I ever make sure to check out my channel here I do movie reviews trailer reactions ranking videos tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube I do it all here so hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot I'm going to go ahead and give Never Have I Ever Season 3 an A-. minus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Never Have I Ever Season 3 on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up-and-coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.